And we're back. I'm Patrick Pajaha alongside commentator Kevin Shattuck as we're broadcasting here today. South Kent versus Berkshire here in Farmington, Connecticut. Starting on the pitch here today, Brandon McCarthy up from Patrick D'Angelo, TJ Hughes, Matias Correa, Justin Corday, Trey Durham, Shakai Trot, Aaron Laranetto, Mickey Watson, and Ramundo Pardo. All starting here for the boys as they start off here today. Ball played back. Trey Durham over to Shakai Trot. Because every time I think it's on, it's either on, it's off. Shakai Trot with the ball now over to Trey Durham. Durham to Corday. Quick little touch over to Hughes. Hughes with the ball now. He sends it back over to Trot. Trot with a couple seconds for options. Sends it back over to Corday. Corday's going to cross fields and switch it all the way over to, to Laronetto, who's going to strive to keep it in now. He'll play, play it back over to Watson. Watson will try to send it up to Durham, get something started. Durham, quick little touch over to McCarthy. Quick little touch back over to Durham. Durham back up to McCarthy. Gets taken away by the Berkshire player, and they're looking downfield. Now good kick out there by McCarthy to save that one. As this Berkshire team is the top-ranked prep team in the country. So ball out of bounds here. Looks like it will be a Berkshire ball. So South Kent, this is going to be a big, a big challenge here for South Kent to see if they can uh, overtake this this number one team here in, in the New England prep school rankings. Larinetto with the ball now over to Corday. Corday sends it back. So Berkshire doing a good job of pressuring, as we've seen that in the first couple minutes of this. First half. And whistle on the play, they're going to call it South Camp Ball. So Shakai Trot, quick little throw in up here to Correa. Ball gets through him as it's taking Berkshire players trying to cross fields now as they send it the other way. And they play it up. D'Angelo pressuring here. Boys trying not to get too much out of position as they as they continue on their attack. So Berkshire with the ball now. They're going to switch fields again. Play it over to their right back. He's moving up the field now. Quick little touches as they try to send it back and control possession. Correa. And no foul there. There should have been a whistle there. He took his foot out from underneath him. But Berkshire's pressuring now, and it's taken away by Trey Durham. Durham with the ball, send it back to Trot. Trot will move it up the field, over to Correa. But ball gets taken away. Good little stop there by Corday. Corday running up the field now. Quick little stop back. He sent it over to Correa. Correa with the ball. He'll cross it over. Control fields over to Watson. Watson boots it up the field. He's got D'Angelo, a little bit of room, but down to Correa. Correa moving across the field with the ball over, a little through ball over to D'Angelo. Crossed over, header, couldn't get it down, moving in. Corday trying to get, regain the ball. He'll send it back to Trot. Quick little throw over to Trey Durham. Move to McCarthy, but it's played back to Durham. And he'll cross fields over to Shakai Trot. But it's taken away by Berkshire. As Berkshire's moving up the field here now. So ball over in the corner. South Kent Berkshire fighting out for it now. And they're gonna it's gonna bounce off the Berkshire play and be a South Kent ball.
So uh, Berkshire has it in their backfield. Nice little interception by Brett. Sorry, Patrick D'Angelo. Berkshire regains. Moving up field. Takes it just over half field. Passes it over. Cleared out by South Kent. And it will now be a Berkshire, Berkshire throw in. So Berkshire throws it in. He goes straight off one of their players and goes back out for a South Kent throw in this time. So they throw it in and again it goes immediately out and back to Berkshire throwing. Berkshire passes it back. Puts it in the middle. Up again. So, Matias Correa fighting for the ball. So, uh. South Kent doing a good job pressuring. Pressuring as Berkshire has it in their backfield, trying to get any, uh, any advantage they can to find Berkshire off guard and maybe take it away and have a good offensive opportunity. Here's Trey Durham back to Aaron Laronetto. Laronetto sends it off the Berkshire player. It's kicked up, and he, they're racing downfield now. As it's sent away, good opportunity for Berkshire. They send it over to the center of the box. Shot and goal. Berkshire goal. It's a good job there by Berkshire to, to move back downfield and score off the miscue by South Kent. So uh, that, that was definitely not how South Kent wanted the game to start. But um, hopefully they'll bounce back quickly, recover, and score a goal to counter Berkshire's gold. Yep. Here's South Kent. Shakai Trot passes over to Durham. Durham back to Korea. Back over to Durham. Sends him on a run now. D'Angelo racing down the sidelines. Got a little bit of room. Sends it back. Sends over there. Kicked back down the field, though. As it's kicked back, and Berkshire's going to try to get it out of their out of their defensive zone, and they're going to call that a Berkshire ball. So nothing really going right for South Kent right now. So uh, Berkshire throws it over. So uh, Berkshire just putting little touches on the ball. Making sure that they keep the South Kent players off the ball. But uh, South Kent's still racing after that ball. Ooh. One of Berkshire players sends another play on the run. Shot. Saved, but they're still in the box. Berkshire regains control. Sends it over. But South Kent clears it. So it'll be a South Kent throw in. It throw it in Trey Durham. Trey Durham kicks it. Over to our player. Berkshire intercepts it. Regaining control. South Kent puts it up field again. Methodically moving it up field.
flips the South Camp throw in. Throw it into Matias Correa. T is fighting for the ball. Berkshire intercepts it. So Berkshire moving down the left wing now. As they're trying to get up TJ Hughes. Good job there to, to send that ball upfield and keep that for being a good another scoring opportunity for Berkshire. As they switch fields with it now, they send it up here. Corday with the ball now. So, uh, kicked out by Berkshire. So it'll be a South Kent throw-in. Or, sorry, South Kent free kick. Aaron Laronetto's going to take this one. See what he do, does with this. And the Berkshire keeper will eat that one up. Opting the throw instead of kick it. And now Berkshire just kind of dribbling it up, field a little, passes it up. Moving down the left wing. Going to the center. Making little touches. Sends it over to the right wing this time. And it, it will be L on Berkshire, so it will be a South Kent throw in. So Trey Durham passes it over to Justin Corday. Over to Mickey Watson. Sends it up to Matias Correa, but Berkshire player gets there first. And he kicks it out of bounds, so it will be a South Kent throw. So Laronetto will throw this ball in here now. Quick a throw into Correa. Back to Laronetto. Nice little move there. As he sends it up. Oh, TJ Hughes tries to keep it in. And it's played over here by Pardo. Pardo will send it up. A quick little dip back there to Trot. Trot with the ball now. He'll send it over to Durham. Here's Corday sends this ball up here. Now Berkshire's got control of it and they boot it back downfield. McCarthy playing good defense here as he snaps on number nine. Matias Correa now, now trying to get the take the ball away as it bounces back out and Berkshire recovers and blasts it back downfield. It's a very physical game that we've seen here. In just the first couple minutes of this uh, first half. Here is Berkshire's coming down. Probably take a shot, but no shot. And Matias Correa will have a little bit of room as he's running up the field now. He sends it up to Corday, but it's booted ba back downfield. And it's dropped back down by Laronetto as he sends it up quickly. And Corday's going to stop that and turn and shoot that down over, but it's taken away by Berkshire. Good header there by Pardo to keep that one as Durham's fighting for the ball now. And they're going to call that a Berkshire throw in. I mean, Berkshire free throw, a free kick. So, quick set piece there as they start back up. And Cordale switch fields over to Laronetto. Laronetto, little move there. Back over to Cordale, Cordale, Pardo. Pardo's going to send it up over to Cordale. But Berkshire takes it away now as they're moving downfield. 
they send it over there. Nice little quick touch. Bacori will send it downfield back. Taken by the Berkshire player. Outside left wing of the box. Berkshire's got it. Let's see what they do. Shot deflected there. D'Angelo back over to Leonard Neto. But Berkshire takes it away as they're moving downfield now. Booted back down the left wing as Berkshire's coming down. They've got an opportunity. Quick little foot there. Shot in the net. Good stop there. Trying to get another shot off. Berkshire can't. Watson will blast it back downfield. So good job to eliminate the threat there. As the Berkshire player goes for the header there. And it's going to be a whistle, and they're going to call that a Berkshire throwing, it looks like. So quick little set piece here for Berkshire. So ball off the poster, that was so close. And they're gonna call that a goal kick for South Kent. That was almost it was almost South, that almost put South Kent in the two zero hole. So that was a lucky break for the Cardinals. So as uh Gio try looks for it. Boots it downfield. Berkshire boots it up. Again, boots it up. This time, Brandon McCarthy will head it to one of his players. Justin Cord. Oh, sorry. Aaron Laranetto had that one. Brandon McCarthy is uh, a victim of a foul, so it'll be a South Kent free kick. Now he kicks this one into the box. Mickey Watson heads that one up. Justin Corday has it. Now Berkshire stole it back. You have one upfield. So, uh, Berkshire player was kind of triple teamed. And there was a foul somewhere in the midst of that. So it'll be a Berkshire free kick. Free kick. Nice little fake there by Berkshire as they play it up. Quick little touch as he's got a second. Centers it. Shot. Blocked. Header up. And Gio can't come down with it. Another shot. Another shot. And goal. So Berkshire's up 2 nothing now. I think we're really starting to see why they're the number one prep school in the country. Yep. As they just took a quick... Uh, 2 nothing lead here. As Giovanni Riello had a chance to save that one. He couldn't just couldn't get his hands on it, so Berkshire will go up 2 nothing.
So uh, Berkshire has it. Sends one of their players on a run again. South King comes away with it. So uh, Trey Durham kicks it up to TJ Hughes. Kicks it back to Trey Durham. Over to Corday, back to Durham. Over to Pardo. Picks it up field. And it goes out. So it will be a Berkshire throw in. Corday will put it back down to TJ Hughes. D'Angelo with the ball now. He'll be racing up. And it's kicked back out. Corday with the shot and wide of the net. The corner kick here for South Kent as McCarthy's going to take this one. So ball up. Header up. And it's kicked back down and out. South Kent throwing. Quick throw in here for South Kent. That's going to be kicked in. Corday and centers it, but it's kicked back out. Another South Kent throw in. So Berkshire has a throw in here now as they quickly throw it in to their back and chip it right ahead there. Kick back up here now as Larinetto gets ahead on it, but Berkshire's coming back down the field, and he gets ahead of Larinetto and tries to center it as it's kicked out here by a bunch of South Camp players as they try to regain possession as Larinetto's moving up the field now. He'll chip it over here on a run to Mateus Correa. Correa struggling to keep that one in, and it'll, but it'll be out. It'll be a Berkshire throw in. So Berkshire throws it in. I don't know. Play a little touch and go. Tease Correa now with the ball. Pez over to Larinetto. Over to Durham. Durham. He'll send it upfield. Header there by Berkshire to break that that thread up. It'll be a goal kick for South Kent. As Riello is going to boot this one down. And Berkshire's running on the field here now. It's a pretty quick. And it's played out here. Nice little chip in the box. Header there. Kept in as Watson blasts that one back downfield. And Berkshire is going to take this one back downfield and kick that one back. And they got a guy in the box. As he sends it over, 
shot and saved there by Giovanni Riello. Nice ball out, Southcad throw it here. Just quick throw on McCarthy to Laronetto over to Trey Durham. Trey, he's moving on it. He'll pass it up over to TJ. And over to Pardo. Pardo with the ball now. As he sends it up upfield. As D'Angelo's racing towards it. And it's kicked back out by Berkshire. And they're racing down the field now as they stop it. Look back, they have time for options. They play a little tic-tac-toe there. They're going to call him offsides. <laughs> and quick start up here by South Kent. There's Laronetto. Plays it over there. Quick little start up by Correa as he's trying to get something started. He's moving up field, back out, South Kent throw in. Quick up McCarthy back up and back out. So there's another South Kent throw in. So Laronetto with the ball now. Play it over Correa, back over, over to Corday. He'll switch fields now. Quick, quick little move there. Back over to Correa as he's racing down the field. He plays it up there to TJ. Got through the legs of the player, and it's trying. It's almost kicked out by the Berkshire player, but Correa is trying to keep it in. He'll center it over, but it gets taken away by Berkshire, and they're running back down the field with it now. And he gets past one player. He crosses it over, sends it in the left wing. And he centers it in the box. And Giovanni Riella gets taken down. And it's back out of the box. As they center it in, Bunch of Kai Trot's going to play it back over to Gio Riello. And he's going to send it downfield now. And out. So Berkshire ball. So Berkshire throws it in and heads it back out. And so it'll be another Berkshire throw on. This time they keep it in. And South Kent fighting for the ball. It's on the other side of the field. Get it more towards the center now. Chris Watts checking into the game. And uh, now they're going on a little run, but then Berkshire regains their footing and kicks it out. Ooh. Now Berkshire looking back in control. Little trip up there. And has the back to their defense. So uh Patrick D'Angelo race after the ball all over all over the field, I mean, sorry. So uh, Berkshire getting dangerously close. They're now in the box. And looks like it'll be a
So, uh, stuff can't help the ball at the moment. Move that field so I can get spots on the run. So, uh, Berkshire has it. And moving upfield. Doing what they do best. Put it in the box. So I think it will be a, yes, it will be a Berkshire corner kick. Nice fist punch by uh, Geo to get that out of there. That'll be a Berkshire throne. So, uh, Berkshire getting control again. These guys are wicked fast. You gotta admit that. So, they boot it back. Kick it off. Very nearly a goal. That'll be a goal kick. So, uh, Berkshire regains control. Fighting for the ball. A little scuffle between Ramundo and uh, Berkshire, but South Kent awarded that. So, uh, South Kent kicks it up, but Berkshire skips it. Now, again, doing their little touch and go thing. Kind of shooting all over the field. So, uh, Berkshire has it. Moving it up. And it looks like it will be a Berkshire throwing. That's kind of clears that one out. Jeff Charles checking into the game. So, uh, 
TJ Hughes or no, the Chris Cray sending Jeff Charles on a run. Oh, so so close, but uh, Berkshire goalkeeper will eat that one up. After the kick, this one. Ooh, Trey Durham took some nasty headers. Berkshire regaining control, moving it up, goes out, so it'll be a sub 10 thrown. Aaron Laranetto takes this one. Goes in the Chris Lock. TJ Hughes taking it up, but then Berkshire takes it upfield. Be a Berkshire throwing. They throw it in. Switching wings. So, uh, moving along. Almost put in the box, but Mickey Watson takes a header. So, uh, Berkshire systematically moving it upfield. But it looks like it will be a Berkshire free kick? That's correct, the Berkshire took a free kick. Sorry. So, uh, Geo saves that one. And looking for his options. Boost it downfield. Chris Watt. Chris Watt gives that a header, but so it will be a Berkshire set piece. Oh, no foul there, but uh, South Ken moving upfield. They really need time to get going for another fast. So, Berkshire moving up. Oh, TJ Hughes kicking over to Chris Watts. Over to Jeff Charles. Fifth gets all oh, so close. He had one defender to beat, but defender got it one little bit by him and kick that ball out, so it'll be a sub-10 free, uh, throwing, sorry. So, over to Aaron Laranetto. Berkshire steals the ball. Sending one of the First year players on the run. Centers it. Didn't really work out for him. Ooh. Nasty little tumble there, but South Kent resuming almost immediately. This is game is turning kind of physical, so um expect to see some more slips. Berkshire switches legs over to the left one. So, uh, Berkshire moving up. Steals it over to Jeff Charles, over to TJ Hughes. Berkshire takes the ball away. Moving up. Ooh, good little move by there, Mickey, to disrupt the flow. And it will be a goal kick for South Kent. Oh, sorry, it will be a corner kick for Berkshire. I'm very sorry about that slip up. So, 
So Berkshire keeping it in the box. Trying to make sure they don't need using another goal for the end of the half. Clear it out. Very good. Jeff Charles running all over the field trying to catch up to this ball. Ooh, little push there, no, nothing called, but it will be a second th thrown over to TJ Hughes. Sorry, TJ Hughes. Don't know what really happened there, but the official must have saw something, so he called it as a first year free kick. Sorry. So first year moving it up. They're in the box now. Immediately kicked out of the box. First year regaining control. Berkshire moving it up as over one of their players. Intercepted by Trey Durham over to Matias Correa. Puts it over to TJ Hughes. Back to Correa. Back to Hughes. Intercepted by Berkshire again. So, uh, Berkshire moving up. Kicks it into the box. A little trip up there by one of the Berkshire players, so uh Gio has some time to snatch that one up. Throws it out. Well, out to one of the players, sorry. Up to Chris Watts, but one of the Berkshire players heads it back upfield. So I kept throwing. And, uh, another stuff can throw in, I guess. Time it's over to, I think, Trey Durham. Mickey Watson kicks it up field. Tease Correa fighting for the ball. And he gets it. South Kent throwing. Aaron Larinato. Oh, sorry, it will be a South Kent free kick. So, Aaron Larry and I will be taking this one. So, it will be a Berkshire free, uh, goal kick, sorry. about to throw it in. Throws it over to Justin Corday. Corday. Ooh. Beats out two Berkshire defenders. Very good job. Jeff Charles fighting to remain pos in possession. Nice thing. Nice job there, Pardo. Berkshire Pretty much playing keep away now. Got a comfortable 2 nothing lead. So. 
Trey Durham passes it over. Now Corday has it. Ty Tra oh over to Mickey Watson. Mickey over to Patias. Over to Aaron Laranetto. Berkshire passing it around. Check it out. Pardo heads it over to the goalkeeper. Sets that one up. Come on, Jeff. Jeff has a chance. Oh. Jeff Charles has a very good chance. The goalkeeper beats him to the ball and smashes that one up. So, uh, I think we're running on injury time now. Well, injury and timeout time. Yep, and there we go. That signals the end of the half. Um, I'll be back for the second half. I'm your commentator, Kevin Shattuck.
so we're back to the second half of the Berkshire vs. Star Ten game. So, uh, Ramundo Pardo has the ball. Kicks it back to Joe Real. So, uh, Berkshire gang control of the ball again. Nice little sliding kick by Ramundo Pardo. Keep it out of bounds. So, Berkshire moving it up, getting closer and closer to the Geo and his goal. Stock 10, moving it up, Jeff Charles dribbling upfield. So, uh, sadly, Berkshire regains control. Moving it upfield. Almost in the box now. They're in the box. Well, foul and, uh, oh. This does not look good at all. Both, I think Mickey Watson and a Berkshire player are both down. Let's hope it's not bad for either of them. We have a little really kind of stinks for Mickey because he missed a lot of the season before after he broke it one of his toes. So hope it's not bad and that he can he can walk this one off or something. At the worst, just hopefully he can come back next game. Or even better, you can play the rest of this game. So it looks like they're both getting off and just walking it off. So, play resume. There will be a Berkshire throw in. Oh, sorry, it'll be a free kick for... Oh, sorry. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so keeper, you throw it up, and... <laughs> Geo kicks it out, and... First year player heads it up, and it will now be a South 10 throw in. And... The Berkshire keeper eats that one away. Looks like another Berkshire player got hurt a little. But brings us back to the seat. Now Berkshire moving it upfield. Nice little interception there by Thanks, Matias. Uh, Oliver, Oliviera. Berkshire gaining the back. Moving up. Mickey Watson. So, uh, South Ken really fighting here. This, if they were to win this, it'd mean a lot for them. Definitely help them in the rankings. So, uh, 
Jeff Charles kind of leading the charge for the for South Ten right now. So go the uh, South Ten corner kick. Okay, so it's in the box. Sally knows she get a head on it. Ooh, Berkshire really moving it up. Got to get by. Oh. Well, push there. She eats that one. Okay, over to Crash. So, uh, Berkshire got this. It has this one. Another goal by Birch. Another goal by Berkshire, sadly, and, uh, South Ten is really, they're starting to get wary of this. Scores now three nothing and this is looking very good for them. So uh the mundo has that one. Guy near the goal. Berkshire's got it now. Leading the charge again. Ooh. Little trip up there. Nothing called. Another shot. Great save. Little collision there. Patrick D'Angelo passes over to Chase Caress. First year gains control and casually kicks it out. Ooh. First year player. One that collided with uh, Patrick D'Angelo. He's on the ground. Not looking very good. And the timeout will be called. So, uh, Berkshire gets up with a little bit of help from the athletic trainer. And... He looks to be jogging off field. And play will resume. So they throw it in, tie drop, takes it upfield. First year player intercepts it, takes it over to another one, who passes it over to the left wing. First year moving it up. Ooh! Game 
game is really getting physical. So, oh, Berkshire free kick. And... You can probably assume that right now they're not really worried about making another goal. You know, they really have to keep South Kent from getting one. They pretty much got this in the bag. But TJ Hughes up to Jeff Charles. Racing for the ball. Sadly, Berkshire gets it back. Crosses into the into the box. She just has a chance. Sadly headed out. So uh moving it up. Very good job by Ramindo Pardo to get a foot on it just in time. Oh, didn't go in. So, uh... Berkshire getting dangerously close to the goal. We are really on his toes, but thankfully South Kent can clear it out before. Oh, but done. Geo eats that one away. Another Berkshire injury. No offense to them, but they're kind of dropping like flies. The Berkshire player has gotten up and walked off the field, so now it looks like it will be a Berkshire to throw it. I think. Durham passes it up. Nice sliding tackle.
supposed to be a throw to them, but Trey Durham is there to hit it back out. So. It's a little foul there, so it looks like it will be a Berkshire set piece. Switch wings and Giovanni will eat that one away. <laughs> so, uh, Geo kicks this one. Can't kick down teams quickly. This year now has a ball making a run. I don't know where he was aiming for with that shot, but kick it way over the net. So it will be a South Kent goal kick. South Kent passing around, looking for a weakness in there in Berkshire's defense. Not finding much really. I mean, who says our number one in prep school soccer is for a reason? Yo, eat that one away. Stumbled there by a Berkshire player. Guys right, moving the ball up across this field. Nice little steal there by uh, Raimundo. Making a run. Pays it over to Matias Correa. Takes it up into the box. Heck again, Joe beats it up. And Berkshire goalkeeper will eat that one away. Chris Watts, second into the game. South Kent has a chance here. But Berkshire still got Nice little sliding tackle there by Chris Watts. Now, Kai Trot throws it to Chris Watts. Nice 
nice header there, but Nicky Watson. Here clears that one out, but it will be a South Kent throwing. Off of there and both end up on the ground, but both look to be okay. So it'll be a let's see your set piece. Goalkeeper boots this one up. Berkshire and South Kent desperately fighting for the ball. The Tiger Gang go over to Larinetto. Larinetto over to Matias. And Berkshire intercepts it. So, Berkshire moving up. Over to number 19 for Berkshire. And it looks like it will be a. South Kent free kick. So, Geo boosts that one. And first year gets the ball back. Keeping it away from South Kent, making sure they don't get it. So Geo signal Geo signaling to his teammates that he has the ball. And pass it over to Pardo. Tiger over to Trey Durham. Player over to Corday. Berkshire intercepts that one, but Geo clears that one. So, Chris Watts going in for head. Maybe the best chance South Kent has had all night, and Berkshire clears it. Shadow goal blocked by one of the Berkshire players. Yeah, we keep one up and tags it out to the middle. Trip up there by one of the Berkshire players, so it'll be a South Kent free kick. So, uh, email us, tell us how we're doing at amg at southkentschool.org. We'd love to hear your feedback.
goal kick. Should have taken their time. Two sit up field. Booted out of the field. Um. <laughs> so let's play resume. A very, very close call. So it'll be a Berkshire corner kick. Takes it in. Clears it of danger. Tied spot. Really putting on the Jets now. And this is some of men got it. Waiting for one of our players to race up and then picks it up. Boots it downfield to a Ooh, but it goes out, so Sky Trial will take the throw on. So, Berkshire moving all up. So, Matias Correa moving up the field and Hope gets on the dome. Laren over to Larinetto. Back to Matias Oliveira. He boots it upfield. And it will be a Berkshire free throw. Throw it, sorry. goes out again and it will be this time it will still be a Berkshire throw. So Berkshire throws it in. Waiting for their players to move up and moving down the left wing. A little collision there between two players. So Berkshire really in control of this game. I mean they they've had three goals and uh and now pretty good opportunity for a fourth goal. Let's see what happens. Will be a Berkshire free kick. way over the net. And now it will be a Southside Gold Cup. So, uh, ooh, a little attempt to cross into the box is denied by one of the Berkshire players. In 
the box, boot it up in the air. Jeff Charles heads it. Oh! Very close call for South Kent. They almost had their first, first goal of the night. But it was a uh, South Kent corner kick straight into the box. Jeff Charles heads it down into the ground. Not not towards the goal. So now it will be a, a Berkshire set piece. So Berkshire, ooh, nice sliding tackle. Berkshire player went down hard. Ooh, he he's not looking very good. He went down pretty hard after. Like he he might have hit his head. So uh, yeah, he offering his apologies to the player. I think the fifth injury for Berkshire. South Kent so far has had none. So, Berkshire player is still down. Trainer's checking him out. He gets up. Looks like he might resume playing. Yes, he will continue playing. So Shikai, the tri captain, will throw in to Justin Corday, kicks it upfield. So Berkshire having only four, five defenders to beat. More coming back to help out the defense. Berkshire crosses it straight into Giovanni Riello's arm. Gio signaling for his teammates to go downfield. Rolls it out to Sakai Trot. So, Matias Correa really is playing hard tonight. Kai Tra takes it straight into one of the Berkshire players. And it's out, so it'll be a South Kent throwing. Berkshire has it in the box. But South Kent fighting to get it out. Mm, 
nice slide there by uh, number eight there, Shakai Trot, to kick it out of bounds. Berkshire has ball, crosses it over. Full South Kent and Berkshire are really playing aggressively tonight. Both hoping for a win. This is first year of the keeper. Another goal for Berkshire. So, good attempt by Mickey Watson after Gio went to the ball. And the uh, Berkshire player kind of outsmarted him. So Mickey kind of fell back. Tried to keep the ball on the goal. Got a piece of it. But sadly, just deflected it into the corner. So, score, sadly, is now 4 nothing. over the sideline. Ooh, very close. He almost kept it in bounds, but sadly it went out, so so he will be a first chip roll. Thrown. Ooh, very close. So, uh, Very, very good save by Gio. He's been getting a lot of action tonight. And frankly, I'm su I'm surprised that he's only let four goals in. I mean, Berkshire's really attacking him. Berkshire in possession of the ball again. TJ Hughes making a run, has it over to Brandon McCarthy, has it over to TJ Hughes. Sorry guys, can't really see. Um, so Jeff Charles has the ball. Ooh, nasty collision there. 
Jeff Charles. He's he's not looking too good right now. It's on the ground clutching his left knee. And uh and now the player that he collided with is also hurt. So I'm Patrick Padraja, I'll come back on for Kevin Shattuck as he takes a little bit of a break. Here we have uh, Jeff Charles on the ground injured, as it looks like. He Let's see if he's all right. As Berkshire's going to throw it in, Polly to South Ken here as it kicked it out right before, right as the players were injured. So good game here for Berkshire as they've been dominant all today. Not giving South Kent many chances and it's reflecting in the score of the four nothing. Um like I said before, this this Berkshire team is very powerful. They've they're number one in the country in the prep school league for a reason. Um as we've seen it here today, their explosive offense, their ability, they have a really good team this year. And South Kent um unfortunately had to deal with that here today. The ball quickly thrown in. Berkshire's going to boot it down the field to keeper Giovanni Riello. And play is going to be started back up. Lopardo with the ball. He's going to switch it over, over to Mickey Watson. This play over here, TJ Hughes. Drops it back over to Pardo back again. Pardo puts it through. Trying to send Corday on a through ball as Corday's racing down the sidelines. Ball's in. He's got it in the, in the box. Sends it up. Kept down. Correa tries and gets the foot taken out. No whistle again. And it's coming back downfield here now as Berkshire is taking the time. They send it downfield. Try to send number 10 on a run here. And that'll be a foul against South Kent here. Against Mickey Watts in the tank. Ball up here as Durham. He's turning, looking now. He's got a little bit of room. He's going to just play it over here to Pardo. Pardo with the ball. He'll send it up there. Try to send D'Angelo on a run. D'Angelo's in the corner. He sends it over to center it. Ball's played out. Correa trying to get some room. Plays it back over. Kicks it in. And kicked out by Berkshire. And downfield now. There's Watson with. And ball. 
ball kicked out. Okay, so, um, our clock has run out, which means we're just running on injury and stoppage time. So, uh, Aaron Larino, fighting for the ball between two first-year players. Really moving it up now. But, you know, I think, I think this 4-0 deficit has been probably the greatest that South Kent's ever fallen behind this season. So, Kai Tra goes down, so it gets back up almost immediately. Crossed and then booted back out of the box by one of the Berkshire players. So right now there's not really much South Kent can do except prevent this from going to a 5-0 win, uh, 5-0 loss. So. So. TJ Hughes making some moves. Berkshire gets it. Shakai Trot. Right now, it looks like Berkshire is just kind of playing touch and go. Now this belt. You know, South Carolina had a really good fan turnout t today. So nice to see students come out here and support the players. Shot on goal. But goalkeeper for Berkshire says nope, and then boots that one away. First year player moving off. So, TJ Hughes has it. Passes it up, but intercepted by a first year player. Berkshire booted up into the box. Kai Trout kicking that one away. Justin Cornet booting it upfield. goes behind the net and now will be a Berkshire goal kick. Berkshire putting the moves on South Kent, but 
Bob's cat just kind of finally discovering their rhythms. We're starting to lock down on them. So it'll be a Berkshire corner kick. Substitution for Berkshire. So, first year across from the field, shot up, but it goes out, so it'll be a South Kent goal kick. Berkshire advancing. The uh, South Kent throwing. Olivier kicks it up. Goes to Berkshire. Moves it back in the direction of Olivier. Olivier moves it back downfield. These boys are trying to get anything going, but Berkshire's is so good of a team that they just don't really have many gaps in their defense, so. So. Okay, can cross the zone over to Sky Trot. Here's Berkshire again. Very close shot. So, uh, Geo really dodges the ball at that time. So Mickey Watson boosts that one up. Heads it over to Aaron Laranetto. Berkshire throws it in. So. Patrick Chanfo will be throwing this one in. Oh, sorry. Ty Trot will be throwing this one in for South Kent. Throws in TJ Hughes. Oh! So again, Shakat's trial will be doing another throw in South Kent. And that's the game. So, South Kent sadly loses to Berkshire for nothing. And uh, we'll see you next time for a home game.
for South Kent, and I'm your commentator, Kenneth Shack, signing off. See you next time.